Hello guys and welcome back into this video. We got a bunch of setups that I am watching for this week. Uh, we got a bunch of great setups that I am looking at. Um, a lot of option plays as well as shares and equity plays. If you guys have not already, sundaystocktalk.com for the newsletter. I'll be dropping it tonight um, after I post this video. So let's get started in the market today. Um, Let's take a look at SPY first. Okay, SPY consolidating right here between this channel right here. Um, as we mentioned in our previous video, one of our previous videos, we talked about this level of support and then SPY hit this level of support and kind of bounced out right here. So we just have these two levels that we are looking at for SPY. We have 527 and 531 where we are kind of trading between these zones. So if we do go below in this area this is going to be our next area for calls so this is the area where we want to be buying in calls at rsi is starting to kind of trade sideways as the stock is also trading sideways so we're kind of cooling off we had a pretty nice um run up for the spy but overall we're just kind of waiting and we're kind of trading between these zones and we are taking a look at what happens next for spy now the first play that we are in is a nike I entered in uh, June 7th, I believe June 7th, uh, expiration for calls on Nike. We're playing this uh, symmetrical triangle breakout. My entry was right around at the support. Um, and the calls did hit over like 25%, I believe, on the calls. I'm still holding it. Uh, my price target is $92.50 and then $94. But we just need to be above $92.50. Um, you know, call option play looks very nice. We talked about the RSI. We did make... I didn't make a uh, video on it before, so make sure to watch the previous video on Nike if you want to have a more in-depth with the price target, stop loss, and the options contract for Nike. So, let's talk about UPS. Okay, UPS looks very, very interesting. Let's take a look at the bigger time frame, at the weekly time frame. We can see that the overall trend is to the downside, and we have this nice level of support at $137. If we go to the daily time frame, I want to take a look at the RSI. The RSI is looking very nice. It is at the oversold levels. So simply, we want to buy low, we want to sell high, and right now, UPS is sitting at a very very nice low level this is going to be the stop loss area 138 because it can go lower even though the probability is not there to go lower uh, it can for sure go lower so just be aware of that just have the stop loss close below um, the level of support on the daily time frame but I'm taking a look at right over here um, I think this can be a nice option play, like a month out uh, call options on UPS to play the bounce to the upside, but just have that strict stop loss, um, especially if your entry was uh, right at the level of support. You know, you might be looking um, very good and your risk to reward is going to be looking very nice for the option contract on UPS. So this is what I am taking a look at the weekly time frame, the daily time frame, the RSI is pretty much play the bounce off with a monthly call out expiration. Next, we have Roku. I'm taking a look at a shares play. So I want to play shares and the risk to reward looks absolutely amazing where you know, we can make at least like a 20%, at least like a 20% with a stop loss of like, you know, 5%. So we're taking a look at Roku on the daily time frame. We have this nice level of support at $55. Whenever we hit this level of support, it bounces off right here. So the daily looks nice. And then if we have a take a look at the weekly, it looks even better. We could see that it really respects this level of support. And as long as if we have the stop loss close below this level, we are looking good. If take a look at the overall trend. This is really the lowest it has ever been for Roku. So I'm just taking a look at a very nice chill laid back shares play, you know, risking around maximum 10% to make like 10, 15% at least and potentially even like 20, 25, but just play a quick bounce off of that. 
So next we have McDonald's, which is really a blue chip company. Um, you know, it's a blue chip company. It has been around for many, many years. And we're taking a look at McDonald's on the weekly time frame right now. We can see that we have this channel and it's pretty much at a low. Now with McDonald's, it, it just goes up. You know, it's a blue chip stock. It's a very big company. It generally just goes up uh, with the S&P 500. It pretty much um, just goes up. You know, you're not investing in something like uh, Roku or like a risky tech company. So with McDonald's, it is sitting at um, at a low. We're at this level of support on the weekly time frame. The RSI looks decent. Um, it hasn't been, you know, this low in a while. But this is a blue chip stock, so it's a pretty good deal for something like McDonald's where occasionally it'll have some dips and that would be the opportunity to really buy in off at. Now the daily looks very interesting and where I am interested in because I, I did want to play a call option play uh, off the daily. So we could see that uh, 260 is a very nice level of support for McDonald's to play just like a quick bounce off of options. And right now we're kind of just hanging in below that. Um, so I'm just keeping an eye on McDonald's for a potential option play. Uh, let's take a look at the RSI. The daily RSI looks uh, even better than the weekly. So we can see that the RSI is right at the level of support. But I'm not too confident in this. It's not an A plus setup. I'll rate it like a C because it's still uh, unclear. But I do like this channel. Um, on the daily, we have this this inside candle going on. So potentially, if we're gonna you know trade sideways for a couple days. You know, that is going to um, depend um, like here where we are trading sideways. But for shares, this might be a great play if you want to add McDonald's to the long term. Next, we've got Warner Bros. I want to buy in shares right at market open. Such a great buy. Probably one of my, I should have added this to the top list, um, you know, before I recorded this video but if we take a look at the monthly time frame we could see that incredible incredible deal this reminds me just like the Macy's play a while ago we had a play on Macy's we replayed um, the bounce um, at the level of support and at the time it was like the lowest like we bought in Macy's um, I believe it was right here Oh uh, yeah, uh, you guys can search up, you know, Fire Circle 104 or Sunday Stock Talk, uh, Macy's stock. We bought it right at the level of support. We wrote it up over 100% play on shares, but it was the lowest that it has ever been since 1993, so for a while. And if we take a look at Warner Bros, it is the lowest that it has ever been since 2005. So the risk to reward is amazing. This is a solid A plus setup. Take a look at the RSI. RSI is the lowest that it has ever been. So this is going to be a solid shares play, and this is a seven dollar stock. So this is a no brainer. Off the monthly time frame, we're kind of consolidating, but we just got to be patient that is all um let's take a look at the weekly time frame even the weekly time frame we are respecting this level of support um but we're taking a look at a stop loss close below there you know 10 percent stop loss you know like the risk to reward is amazing like making like 50 percent at least like conservatively and then if we let's go to the one month time frame okay L like let's take a look at just our like profit targets like 20 percent at least like 75 percent is like a conservative target like 80 percent so this is like a no-brainer this is warner bros they make you know movies it's huge okay it is a huge huge company it is the lowest it has ever been so this is a no-brainer definitely a, a plus setup next we got shopify for options just to do so this one is interesting because <clears throat> I'm more neutral on this play. I want to play puts or calls, but I'm more leaning towards puts right now because <clears throat> this this close was bad. So this candlestick is not looking good. And then we have this gap to the downside. And overall, it's not really holding this level of support. Um, but we can also play the bounce to the upside. So on the Discord, we actually had a 92%. The calls hit over 150% where we played uh, the bounce off of this level of support uh, this day. So we bought in right and then it gapped up. 
So we could also play calls, but I'm watching this closely tomorrow at market open because if the first 15 minutes, you know, it's red and we're dropping, you know, we can probably, we're going to probably have a red day and really just fill this gap to the downside. But this is something that I keep in, an eye on very closely for your options play puts or calls, depending upon how we react to this level. Okay. So Shopify is on life support right now. If we do not hold the $56 level, we do not hold this level. We have so much room to the downside. And I'm thinking of doing like just like weeklies, like set the price target at $55 because this is looking so weak. You know, even though the RSI is is low, it has more room to the downside. Just take a look at this price action. Especially with this candlestick, it does not look good. Take a look at this candlestick. Price came all the way up and all the way you know, back down. So we are not breaking out. It's having a very tough time, tough close right at the market open. If we have the first two red candles, you know, the first 10 minutes at market open, puts might be the play, um, you know, to play the downside at $55. And especially with something like Shopify, take a look at their red candles. Like these red candles are massive. We're talking about like two to three percent move. Okay, we're talking about a three percent move on this candle. Let's see. That's a three percent move. So these are massive red candles around, you know, three percent moves. Like all of these red candles are massive. So there's more pressure to the downside. So I do want to play puts. I'll keep you guys updated on the Discord, but definitely another play that I am looking at. So next overall, we just have Bitcoin in general, Coinbase uh, breaking out. As you guys know, we played the bounce off the level of support. We had a very nice option play, but it is consolidating right here. If it come, comes back to 220, this might be the area to buy and calls at, but I'm loving Coinbase here because of how we are trading. Okay. Take a look at these, you know, again, go to trading view and follow along with me, but look at how we are respecting these zones. Okay. We had this level at 196, 200, you know, we kept bouncing. We had this roof 219, then we have 235, then we have 262. So take a look at like this. I'm just loving this price action on Coinbase and how we are really respecting these levels. So I kind of hope we have a red day. And then I'll buy in call options at 220, play the bounce price target 235, or else we play the breakout of 235 to 262. So we're taking a look at Coinbase. I am loving the chart. Um, reminds me of like the spy chart where we have these channels, we break out, we create another channel, we break out, we create another channel. So Coinbase looks very similar, similar like that. As an overall, the trend is to the upside. You know, we talked about this. On the weekly time frame, we're breaking out of the downtrend for Coinbase. The overall trend is to the upside for Coinbase. So Coinbase is looking good. So overall, Bitcoin, we're bullish on Bitcoin um, on here. We're kind of trading sideways, consolidating, and we're playing Bitcoin by Riot and CLSK shares. We're up over 20-25% on our shares, and we're still holding them to the upside. But if you have not already, I did enter in Riot and CLSK shares on the Discord down below if you have not uh, joined already. Last, we got Ford. So Ford looks very interesting. It is right at the level of support. So on a daily time frame, we have a nice level of support at the $12 level. So we can see that this is a solid level of support. And then if we go on the weekly time frame, we have a downtrend breakout going in for Ford. So as long as if we hold this level, we are good. We just need to hold this level for Ford. If we do not hold the $12 level, it's probably gonna pull a Tesla you know, to the downside. So we just need to hold this level. I'm watching this, keeping a very close eye on Ford. Overall, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sundaystocktalk.com for the email newsletter. I am dropping it tonight. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and see you guys at Market Open in the Discord. Bye.